Hi, everybody. It's Elizabeth Hall, your extraordinary social media manager at Smart Office Help Social Media Management. And today I'm coming to you with a great find. I want to talk to you about a site that I came across and it's called Tweetonomy.com. And Tweetonomy.com, basically, it will analyze your Twitter account. And I thought it was very amazing. And I spent a little time on the site. And once you go on there, you'll actually want to spend some time there as well. So let's go to Tweetonomy. So when you first go here, um, this is the screen that you're going to get. And... Um, it's a free service, so go ahead and sign up for it. It's a, it's quite amazing, and you'll see why I say this. Now, once you sign in, you'll just sign in with your Twitter account. So if your Twitter is already open, it'll come up, and this is the screen that will come up too. And you'll see here, I have Smart Office Help here, and it shows... Um, right now, it shows the number of tweets following followers, and listed, that's... Listed is actually a, a somebody else's Twitter list that Smart Office Help is on. So I'm on one list. So that's okay. This is a fairly new account. And so you can see basically this is your dashboard and you can move things around if you wanted to on the dashboard. But um, I'm just going to give you like a, a quick tour of this because I just really like this third party software. If you go down, it's going to show you your timeline. It'll show tweets coming in on your timeline for people that you follow. And uh, if you go up here, there's a number of things that you can pick. Let's go to, let's see, we're already in the dashboard. Let's go to the profile. And Sometimes it takes a few minutes for this to populate because it's going out and it's looking for information. But right now it's, it came straight up. So that's great. So you'll see over here, it's going to give you some averages and these are averages on your tweets and it'll give you the tweets per day, how many retweets, mentions, and so on. You can go through this. It. It's pretty self-explanatory actually. So I'm not going to go into any details at this time. If you go down, it'll show you the users that you most tweeted, the users that you've most replied to. And like I said, it's self-explanatory. You don't want to go too much into it. And your favorites, everything is here at a glance, basically. And you can look at your mentions. As you can see, it's just taking the, it's, it's time to kind of populate and again I'll show you like mentions here and you just have to go on and kind of play with it and um, if you look at your followers here this is a good place for you to go if you're picky about who you want to follow you and some people have that privacy switch on where you can you can request to be a follower on someone's Twitter account. And here, if you're one of those people and you're picky about the people that follow you, you can actually go here and you can get an at a glance information as to the activity of the people that are trying to follow you or if they're not following you. And you can see here, you can actually from this screen, you can follow and unfollow people. So that's pretty good. It'll show you when they joined. It'll show you all their tweeting information, basically here, the numbers, of course. And so this is a good place to go to if you want to get like a bird's eye view of the people that follow you. Now, why is this information good for you? Uh, or why is this website a good website to go to? Well, basically, if you are thinking about doing advertising on Twitter, this would be a good place for you to go to analyze your Twitter account. Your activity should always be analyzed for your social media channels just to see how effective they are. You can go on here and see how many of your tweets have been retweeted 
um, by other people, you can look at the type of tweets they are because this is going to increase your reach. So maybe you want to put out more of those types of tweets. So like I said, every social media channel that you have, you should be analyzing these. This is also a great place for you to be able to take a peek at your competitor. You can put in someone else's name and it will come up. And I'm just going to put in, um, let's see, social media examiner. I follow them. They're a great site, actually. Have some good information. And it's going to take a moment to come up for them. As you can see, everything that I saw for my profile, I can see for their profile as well. So this is a great place to take a sneak peek. And this is actually a popular site. So if you have a competitor who's doing really well, you can kind of take a peek at what they're doing in the background on their Twitter account, how they're being successful. And you can kind of mimic that, not copy, but mimic it. It's kind of like using a mentoring program and the mentor just doesn't know it. But anyway, so that that is pretty much the gist of Twitonomy and I suggest that you check it out. It's a really great in-depth site and the site is totally free. One more feature that I failed to mention that I really liked and this is probably just one of those cool things. I'm not sure how much it would be useful but I just want to show it to you. If you go under under this heading where it has mentions and retweets here, you click on that and you'll get this screen. If you go here where it says visualize on the map, what it's going to do is it's going to show you where your mentions and your tweets are, what locations are at. And you can see in real time um, where it's dropping the little Twitter bird on the map. And that's pretty interesting and it's pretty cool. And like I said, I'm not sure how interesting that'll be, but I was pretty surprised at where the mentions and the tweets fell on the map. And if you just give it a few more seconds, it should be about finished. Because like I said, this is a new account, so there's not much. So you can see, if you look here, we have quite, we have few in the, in the UK. And then we had Nigeria, Australia, and then Chile. And I was really surprised about Chile because, you know, there's lots of places in the world that don't really have internet. So I thought that was interesting. So I want to make sure that you guys um, saw the map as well. So I actually, I went back and I updated the video. All right. So that's it for the free part of this program. And like I said, you can pay for the premium service. You can check out the features yourself on the site. And if you have any more social media related questions, please leave those in the comments and I'll be happy to answer those on a future video or in a future podcast. Please don't forget to subscribe for future updates on the videos. And also, please rate this video at the end and give it a thumbs up. Okay, go out and grow your networks using social media. Have a great day. Additional social media tutorials are being posted weekly. Subscribe for future updates so you don't miss out. You can also check out past videos. I encourage you to share them with your friends, followers, and fans.